You know, I was always an entrepreneur, always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I, I like to invent, I like to discover. I came on a scholarship uh, to the University of Pennsylvania here in Philadelphia. I actually finished my PhD in about three years. But I'll call my mother my role model. She persevered to raise us, me and my, my sister. Uh, under very difficult circumstances, and the character she showed uh, made an impression on me. On a more uh, professional scale, uh, the gentleman I did my research with at the University of Pennsylvania, Dr. Burton Paul, he had the greatest influence on me as a professional. I was extremely impressed with Albert Einstein, and I read everything there was to read about him. And yes, he, in many ways, he would be, I would consider him a role model. I was extremely impressed with, uh, with Faraday. Storing used nuclear fuel, fuel produced by the reactors in a safe configuration was a big challenge. That turned out to be our wet storage used fuel storage technology, which when we launched it in 1986, by 1990, we were a national monopoly. Every customer wanted to buy our system. And the same thing happened with dry storage. We continued our innovation after wet storage matured and we needed to transition. We did the same thing. We came up with some unique technologies uh, that were not available that formed the, the basis for our growth that continues to this day. And I got my first patent when I was, I think, in my 20s. We developed a lot of patents and has been the bedrock for our success. In terms of purely scientific terms, you know, the fact that we developed a storage system uh, that is purely underground, the storage technology, the fuel, which is highly, highly radioactive, I think it's going to have a, a huge uh, effect uh, for decades. We developed a, a way to, to dehydrate fuel to remove the moisture uh, remotely. Our small modular reactor, which we have developed, and we are now ready to take it for licensing and for construction, is a unique reactor. It is one that you can literally put in the football stadium of a city. I thought it would be more appropriate for humankind that we sponsored research in nanotechnology. And that was my rationale for it, and I, I still think it was the right idea. The center at Penn um, has become a prominent place of research. They're doing fantastic work, and it's affecting humankind in every, every way all over the world. Well, the biggest accomplishment I would credit is building this organization. And without that, all my ideas will not get any legs. You know, so, so, so I, I firmly believe that the biggest, biggest contribution at the end of the day, my legacy, my people, this organization, really. And I think, I think Holtec will be around 100 years.